Welcome. Today we're going to run a dumbbell ladder circuit supersets. Ladders from 1 to 8 reps. We're going to rest less than 30 seconds between each ladder. We're going to have 5 sets of supersets. Trying to work the total body here. So what you're going to need today is a set of dumbbells. You're going to need a step or some books if you have them and a chair or a dip bar. So if you have a chair, you'll do chair dips. If you have a dip bar, you'll do regular dips. So we're going to get this started with alternating swings and squats. So get yourself warmed up real quick, and then we'll get right back at this. So take, I don't know, three to five minutes, get your body warm. And we'll come back, get this exercise session started. Again, we're going to have five different sets of supersets between each one. I'll tell you the exercises that way. We're not trying to remember them all here from the beginning. Take a few seconds. We'll come right back and get started. Okay, so our first set is going to be alternating dumbbell swings and squats. So each swing is going to look like this. So we're going to switch arms because it's alternating. And then we're going to take pick up both for a squat. So you're going to need both dumbbells for this one. You sit the one to the side there. Again, the first ladder here is one rep of each side and one squat. So here we go. One, switch arms. One, pick that other one up, up high, squat. So you're basically a front, almost like a front rack squat on those. So if you feel comfortable holding both dumbbells, we're going to start two reps here. So swing, swing, switch arms, swing, swing, front rack goes, squat, squat, that's two. Next one ladder, three. You're going to start to see a pattern here pretty quick. Again, quick rest. Let's go with three swings. One, two. Three, switch arms, one, two, three, front, squat, front rack those, one, two, three. Now if the front rack positioning is bad for you on the squat, go ahead and just keep the dumbbells wherever is comfortable for you. Next up, four swings, again, as you can see, I take the other dumbbell and I put it back behind my hips so that it's not swinging into my thigh. So here we go. Four swings each side. One, two, three, four. Switch sides. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Again, you're only going to the shoulder height on those swings. Four squats. Two, three, four. Make sure your knees do not go in front of your toes on the squats. You don't want your knees buckling in either. When you're doing your squats, knees should kind of be pushing out. Should be shoulder width or outside of shoulder width apart on those. Next up, five. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go five swings. If you need a longer break period than I'm giving you, hit the pause button, take it, come back, start back up and get onto it. So. I'm going to try to, like I said, the lower numbers, we're going to take a little less break. Higher numbers will take a longer break. Here we go. Five of them. One, two, three. Again, height of the face. Four, five. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five. Front rack them. Squat. Five. One, two, three. Four, five, take a break. Next up, six. Walk around if you need to during a break. And again, on these higher numbers, we're going to take a little longer rest than we will on the low numbers. Six up next. If you need a drink, grab it. Okay. Again, anytime you need a longer break, take it. Hit that pause button, take it. All right, again, six swings, get yourself set up, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, switch. 
switch sides. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Front rack those squat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take a break. So you need to sit those down, sit those down, walk around, get a drink. I believe seven is next. Okay. I believe we're on seven reps. If we ever forget some, that's okay. You're still going to get good work here, so get yourself positioned. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Front rack them. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and I probably told you seven, but I believe we didn't do a six. Sometimes when I'm working out, if I forget where I'm at, I'll redo one. So if we're doing an extra one here, I apologize for that. But you'll you'll thank me at the end of it. So next up we'll do seven. Sometimes that's the bad thing about working out alone. You kind of don't have anybody to double check your reps for you. And sometimes that's a good thing. So you can cheat yourself if you'd like to. Me, I or on the other side, I'd rather do more than less. Here we go with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch arms. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Front rack those seven squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, take a break. We got eight of those, and then we're going to switch to the next superset. Hopefully you have some music playing. I have mine in. <clears throat> because apparently YouTube has issues with you having the music playing in the background and I'm sure it's not them. But alrighty. Eight. The last ladder in this superset. So here we go. Eight of them. One, two, again. Three. Shoulder height. Four. Five. It's hard to see in the video. Six. Seven. And I'm usually at face height. Eight. Switch sides. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Front rack. And squat. One. Two. Six, seven, eight. Take a break. Okay, so next superset, we're gonna do calf raises. So we're gonna need a step, something to hold on to if you need it. We're gonna do both feet at the same time. So you're gonna hold on to the dumbbells. It's gonna look like that. And I'm alternating bicep curls. Again, we're going to start with one, work our way to eight. 
Let's see, how do I want to set this up here? Alrighty. Again, we're going to start with one. Alternating bicep curls. So, one, one. Then we're going to hop up and do one half raise. Put a little hold at the top and then all the way down. So, once your heels come all the way down on that one. All right. Next up, two. So, here we go. One, one, two, two. Notice my arms are at my side. The only thing moving. They're not flinging around or anything. Two calf raises. So up, down, up, down. That's two. Here we go. Now, if you need to set down a dumbbell, just set one down so you can hold on. That way you can get a little bit deeper. Because if I don't hold on, if you haven't noticed, my feet start to slide off the step. So I'll probably set one down from now on. So my feet aren't sliding all over the step. So I can hold on. Here we go. Three curls. One. Again, arms tight to the body. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Again, set one down so I can hold on. We're going to do three calf raises. One. Two. Three. There we go. Pick that one back up. Next up, four bicep curls. Here we go. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. I'm going to set one weight down. Four calf raises. Here we go. One. Take a break. Next up, five. So again, as we increase numbers, we'll take a little bit longer break to recover. All right, right back at five. Here we go. One, one, two. Nice and controlled. Two, three, three. Do our calf raises. Five calf raises. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Alrighty. Take a break. Get a drink. Next up, six. Alrighty, six alternating curls. Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, six calf raises. Here we go. One. and six. Take a break. Walk around. Get those legs loosened up. Next up, seven. All right. Seven alternating curls. Here we go. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, calf raises. Actually, it's supposed to be seven, but here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
S1, 7. All righty, take a break. Up next, 8, which if you're following my pattern, probably doing 8 already. Uh, next up, 8. Then we're going to the next superset. Okay, so we're gonna do eight curls. Last ladder of this superset. Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Eight. Here we go. Last halfway set. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Take a break. So, for our next set, you don't need to stop. So for our next superset, we're going to do a T-shoulder combo, followed by a one-arm deadlift. So, a T-shoulder combo, feet shoulder width apart, you're going to come up, back, down, up, back, down, the one-arm deadlift is going to look like this. You can do that straight-legged, or you can do it with a slight bend in your knees. That'll be our next Super set coming up. Okay, we're going to start with one rep. When we're doing ladders, maybe this set I'll actually keep straight, but who knows? Okay, so T shoulder combo. We're going to probably take a little more rest during this set because we start to get a little more tired. So here we go. Front raise. Out to the side, down. One, and the one arm deadlift, there's one. Put them down, take a quick break. Again, we're doing front raise, over to lateral raise, T shoulder combo, right into one arm deadlift. Up next, two reps. Here we go. Up, out, one. Deadlift. One. Alternating. So we're going to do one on each side. Two. Two. That's two. Take a quick break. And again, as we start to get tired, we're going to need a longer break. Plus, shoulders are very vulnerable. So I'm going to take a little bit longer because the T shoulder combo with weight adds a little bit more stress onto that shoulder. We don't want you to hurt yourself. Yeah, up, three reps. Here we go, up, one, two, three, deadlifts, one, one, two, two, three, three, take a break. Next score. Maybe if I can say the numbers enough, I'll remember them. No promises. Okay. Up next, four reps. Again, front raise into a ladder. Shoulder. Key combo. Here we go. Up. Up. Down. One. Up. Up. Two. Up. Up. Three. Up. Up. Four. Right into the dump. Deadlifts. One. One. Four. Take a 
break. Up next is five. Up next, five. Okay. Here we go. Front raise, shoulder T combo to start. Here we go. Up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good lifts. One. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, take a break. Up next, six, come on. All right, up the six here. So, six shoulder T combo. Here we go. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go, Deborah. Six. Take a break. Up next, seven. Now, if you need to shake your shoulders out, <clears throat> again, if you need to take a longer break between these ladders, do so. Hit that pause button. Take that break. If you, need, if you want to go faster, <laughs> once you have this pattern down, Pick up the speed of it. Increase the weight, increase the time, increase the ladder number. So instead of doing one to eight, do one to 10, or you can do a one to eight and back down to one. All kinds of ways to change this workout out. All right, here we go. Shoulder T combo seven. Oh. One. Two. Three. Control them all the way through the movement. Four. Five. Six. Again, shoulder height. Seven. Deadlifts. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Six, six, seven, seven. Take a break. Up next is eight, the last set of this ladder. And we'll move on to the next superset. Again, we have five supersets in total. This is our third one right now, number four co coming up. The fifth superset is more of a tri-set. We have three exercises in it. Up next, eight. Whew. 
All right, here we go. Eight. Knee shoulder combo. Here we go. Eight. Up. One. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, deadlifts. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Seven, seven, eight, eight. Take a break. So the next super set we're gonna do is going to be hammer curls and dips. So you're gonna need your chair or your dip bar. Again, starting at one. So we're gonna do hammer curls, alternating hammer curls, and then a dip. Take a minute, we'll get ready to do those. Again, if you're using a chair, you're gonna do chair dips. If you have a dip bar, use the dip bar. Whatever's available to you, but you'll be able to do dips. Now, if you don't have a chair or a dip bar, you can do a seated dip, which will look like this. So basically your elbows are bending, your butt's gonna come to the floor. So. It's a chair dip, a regular dip if you have a dip bar, or you can do a seated dip if you don't have access to any of those. Alrighty, here we go. Hammer curls. Alternating hammer curls. One. One. Arms should be right on your body. Set those down. We're going to do a dip. We're going to come up, feet off the floor, dip, back up. So there's two ways to do these. You can lean forward and go straight up straight down so it's two days you can do dips they work muscles differently based on which one you do the more straight up you are the more triceps it hits the more bent forward you are the more across the back it hits all right coming to two now alternating hammer curls two one one again right up and down the side of the body two 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 dips So another thing on dips, you see it all the time because a lot of dip bars are very short. People cross their legs. This leads to a spinal flexion in the back, which could eventually lead to lower back issues. So try not to cross your feet. Either lean forward a little bit more and kick them out, or preferably they're straight up, straight down. Your feet are coming down and you'll kick them forward a little bit. Here we go, hammer curls, three reps each side. Here we go, one, one, two, two, three, three. Don't swing that weight, three dips. Here we go, one, two, three. Next up, four. Grab some water, take a break. Next up, four hammer curls. Alternate hammer curls. Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, four dips. Alrighty, next up five. 
All right. Five alternating curls. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Five dips. Here we go. One. Two. Next up, six. Take a break. Okay, back at hammer curls, here we go, six of them, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, six steps. And six, take your break up next to seven. Again, if you need a longer break, take it. Pause the video, take it. Once you've done these videos, you can write down the exercises on them as you're going, and you can do these at your own pace. Again, you can change around the ladders so they can go higher, they can go lower. You do less reps. You can put tempo in it. There's so many different things you can do with these routines. Just limit it by your imagination. So here we go, hammer curls seven. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven. Seven, seven dips. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One last set of eight. And then we're on to our final tri set. Again. There's three exercises in this last round. Let's finish up eight first, then we'll get to those. Okay. Eight. Here we go. Eight hammer curls. Finish up this round. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, our final superset. We're gonna need step again. You're gonna want to brace it against. The wall or something so it doesn't slip or slide so we're gonna do upright rows so we're gonna do upright rows boom so that's your upright row that'll be our first exercise then we're gonna come into heels elevated squat so we're gonna put our heels up front rack squat 
really targets the quads. Great exercise for that. Then we're going to finish that up with a regular push-up. So, however you feel comfortable doing your push-ups, that's going to be our last exercise of this tri-set. So, take a second here. We're going to start with one. Upright row. We'll get this third and this final tri-set going. So, upright row. One. Down. Step back. Elevate those heels. Front rack to dumbbells. Squat. One. Set those down. We're going to do one push-up. Boom. Now we're going to go two. So, upright rows. Get those dumbbells set. One. Two. Step our heels back onto the step. Front rack with dumbbells. Two squats. One. Two. Set those dumbbells down. Two push-ups. One. Two. Next up is three. So we got three upright rows. Set those dumbbells up. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Heels up on a step. Front rack, three squats, one, two, three, dumbbells down, three push-ups, two, three, take a break, next up, four, good trick, Up next, four upright rows. And here we go. One, two, three, four. Heels up. Front rack for those dumbbells. Four squats. One, two, three, four. Four push ups. One, two, three, four. Take a break. Next, five. Five upright rows coming. Again, if you need a longer break, kick it. So, five upright rows. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five. Heels up. Dumbbells front rack position. Five squats. One, two, three, four, five. Five push ups. Take a break. Six up next. Six next. Upright rows. Here we go. Six of them. One. Two. Three. Five, six, heels up, front rack, those dumbbells, six squats, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, push-ups. Here we go, one.
six. Take a break. Next up, seven. Alrighty, seven, get yourself set up, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, heels up, front rack those dumbbells, seven squats, one, two, three, Seven push-ups. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take a break. We got one last ladder to do. Complete this workout. Last ladder, eight. Get ourselves set up. Eight upright rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Heels up. Front rack, those dumbbells. Here we go. Eight. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight. Finish up eight push ups. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's your workout for today. Make sure you cool down three to five minutes. Exercise, bike, walk around, get that blood pressure and heart rate back down. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.